converting data type factor to numeric and similar procedures. Okay, well, recently I've been getting quite a lot of questions about what happens when you load data into R and you find that some of your variables are not the types that you had envisaged. If that's the case, you have to convert, do some conversions. I'm going to have a look at an example. Say I've got a data, my date, my dat, and it's got three variables, x, y, z. Okay, so suppose I didn't know that in the first instance. Suppose I've just loaded my data. It's going to be a clear screen. What should I do first? Well, a good idea is to see whether the data is loaded properly. So it's good not to uh, print out the whole thing because uh, unless you un unless you know there's only a few observations because if there are tens of thousands of uh, observations then you're just going to just be scrolling down your screen. So I'm just going to kind of look at the first couple of ob three observations. That's the first three rows. My dat, and there you go. Just three observations. So I know it's loaded OK. It's got the variables and it's got some entries. And look at these entries, we can see that we have some kind of different types. X looks like it's categorical, it's nominal. Y, it is also um, categorical. It could be interpreted as uh, ordinal here. But and then Z here uh, <coughs> could, be, um, could be continuous. So in terms of um, what we want to do with R is we want to see that it's loaded fine. It's interpreted as we've done. OK, so have a look at summary because that's a good idea just to see what we've got here. So X, no, three of them. Yes is two of them. Y is of length five. So it's N number of observations is five. And it's got... Oh, and character, character, it's telling us it's recognizing the variable y as a character. And then z here, uh, it looks like it's interpreting these numbers, entries, as uh, 1 appears once, 2 appears once, 5 appears once, so it could be treating it as a factor, but we should check. Right, well, okay, variable x should be a fact. Oh yeah. So I'm let's talk about data types now. Um, the common data types we're going to use in R uh, are numeric uh, and factor and logical, but mainly we deal with numeric and factor. There are other ones as well, such as a character, uh, integer, and um, complex, but we'll only need numeric and factor. That's, that's pretty much uh, so what, what, what we're going to deal with here. So how do we query a variable? Let's take x first. Uh, we want it to be uh, a factor. Uh, in R, a factor means that the thing is nominal. All right, We want it to be it's categorical nominal, meaning uh, there's no ranking in, in these, uh, uh, these um, items. No is not better than yes, and vice versa. So we do that using command is factor and then the what I've done here is name of the factor and then I followed up with the name of my data uh, frame, my dat, and then this dollar sign to say access within that data frame the variable x. All right. Uh, I'm doing this because I don't like to use attach and uh, for various for reasons I've given in a previous video. True. So it's treating x as though it were a factor. That's good. That's what we want. Excellent. So we don't have to do anything with x. Next, look at y. A y, we want it to be a factor also, let's say. Um, so we want it to convert that to a factor. Now, let's check that as well. So we'll query that as well. Is factor. And then name of data frame, I'm going to say the access to the variable y, check that. False. So it is not a factor. Well, here we have to guess where it is. Well, since it's right in character, it's probably interpreting it as a character. 
uh, okay let's just check that is oops sorry character true it is treating it as a character well we don't want it to do that we want it to treat it as a factor so a command to do that is as dot and then factor as dot factor and then access the variable so within my dat variable y and there you go and now it's treating it as a factor so it's a factor y with the levels far near and very far okay well are we done uh, the answer hang on. so let's just check again let's do everything step by step just to show you that it is treating it as a factor now let's just query again is factor and you find false the question is why because you just told it to treat my the y now as a factor and when we query it it's saying oh it's it's not a factor the reason is because we've tr telling it r to treat y as a factor but we have to give the thing a name we haven't kind of replaced the old y with the new y so what we have to do is something like this so I'm just saying basically overwrite y in the dataset my dat. I want to overwrite it with this variable, um, same variable, but treat it as a factor. So I've got OK. And now if I query it, is factor my dat dollar y, is that a factor? It should be true. Good. OK. Great. So there's one more I want to do, and that's the Z. All right, so let's just uh, bring up the data again so you can see what the thing looks like. Z, all right, there you go. And we, what do we want it to be? Say we want it to be uh, numeric, all right. I think this is the one that most people want to know about. And is it treating it as numeric? Let's check it. You see a commonality of these kind of expressions now, is dot, and then we type, uh, enter the type. Uh, is dot factor is dot numeric is dot character and so on so is z in my dat is it numeric as we want it to be no so what's it treating it as well we can kind of guess because remember we in the summary we kind of looked at it and thought mm, it could be treating it as a factor so let's do that it doesn't take long as factor true so it is treating it as a factor, but we want to convert then z to numeric. So let's do this all in one go now, because it's uh, seen, now you've seen pretty much what to do. So we're going to overwrite z in the dataset my dat, and we're going to overwrite it with the same variable, but treated now as numeric. And then we're going to uh, we're, we're going to query it. You don't have to do every single step as I'm doing here. It's just I'm just showing you. True, it's fantastic. So now everything is the way I want it, and now I can proceed to do my analysis. Okay, so yep, nice and short video. Uh, if you're looking for other help, uh, just look at the website. There's plenty of stuff there. Thanks.